The third game I've been playing this week is You Don't Know Jack. Uh, and it's funny because I love it, that game. Me, in the me 90s. too. Very much so. Um, and a, as you finish your first game in in the game of You Don't Know Jack, you get a trophy called It's Just Basically More of This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then that sarcastic yes. humor was always the best part. Yep, yep. Cookie Masterson as the host of You Don't Know Jack is just hysterical. <laughs> that game is chock full of laughs. There is uh, never a dull moment. Um, yeah, You Don't Know Jack. The, the disc has something like 75 episodes on it. They're supporting it with additional downloads of episodes. Uh, it is a riot. There's tons of pop culture stuff in there. Uh, it gets pretty frantic, so jamming on buttons, trying to, to weigh in before other competitors do online. How does how does it work? Do you have to spell the answers, or do you select it from multiple choice? No, yeah, that was one of the uh, things I think I remember from the old uh, PC versions where you had to type in answers, but yes. it, it, it is multiple choice in this version. Mm, okay. Um, you still get... Uh, it, it's, it's still sort of pretty dense. It's still pretty hard. The way the questions are our phrase is very sort of like, wait, what are they asking? <laughs> I think um, I, you know, they, they were doing a whole, uh, they devoted a whole episode of this, uh, or sorry, a whole episode of the mob cast. Uh, they did a sort of a, you don't know Jack feature. They were doing these trivia questions about the whole show. Oh, and uh, fun, yeah. you, it sounds like multiple choice is going to make it, you know, sort of dumb it down a bit, but, but it ends up really not helping you at all because they throw in so many decoy answers and you end up, oh, yeah, totally. you know, okay, second guessing yourself the whole it's, time. It's hard to pull off multiple choice. That's why I'm a bit yeah. leery of that. Okay, cool. That's good. <clears throat> well, it, it also has there each, there, well, there, there's 75 episodes and each episode is probably about 20 to 25 minutes long. Nice. And, and in each episode, there is the wrong answer of the game. Um, and at the beginning, you get a, a, like the wrong answer of the game is sponsored by, and there's a sponsor. And you have to look for the wrong answer to one of the questions that ties into the name or theme of the sponsor. Oh, interesting. And then you, do you get points for picking that? Picking. You get a lot more points for picking the oh. wrong answer on purpose uh, than you would picking the right answer to that question. Oh, that's interesting. funny. That's, yeah. So that's you, cool. like my brain is always sort of, working against itself trying to sort of find <laughs> the wrong answer that fits into <laughs> the wrong answer of the game so yeah <laughs> and you get you get a trophy for collecting them you get uh, uh there the, each one is an object basically there's a a, a couple's um uh, toenail clippers and it's basically a pair of toenail clippers joined at the center so that you and a loved one can turn your toenails <laughs> oh. at the same time um, and, and, and the show is sponsored by that, so you find the wrong answer that sort of supports that um, as the sponsor. Okay, see, when you said sponsors, I thought you meant, like, real sponsors. Oh, no, no, they're joke ones. Excellent. There. There's one okay. that's sort of like Steve's, like, Hollywood blood factory. Um, and <laughs> it's sort of like, uh, uh, yeah, sure, Steve's got buckets of blood. Just don't ask us where we got it. Um, um, does this have online multiplayer? It does, online four-player. I may have to get it like this week then. It's brilliant. I love it. Yeah. Um, you can buy ten more um, episodes for five bucks, and I think they have a couple more packs coming. Um, so they're going to continue to keep it fresh and relevant. There's questions on there about like Lady Gaga and and Kesha gets name drop in one of them, and Bieber comes up. So it's very sort of like goofy pop culture, and it's all very sort of sarcastic and uh, 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 kind of almost intolerant. Uh, and of of pop culture and when you screw up cookie makes fun of you ceaselessly <laughs> good um, good yeah it's great it's brilliant it is by far um the funniest video game i've ever played <laughs> the jokes... it's like you know everyone loves trivial pursuit except they hate it because of the crappy categories so you don't know jack <laughs> is like all the good things about yeah. you know i mean a, a trivial pursuit distilled into an actual good game and no sports <laughs> questions for me to, to screw it up right hey, exactly. i like sports Oh, I, well, I, that's my, my, the bane of my existence in Trivial Pursuit is I, <laughs> if somebody's like, this guy played this game and did this stuff. And I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> um, this game is played by throwing a ball into a hoop. Hockey. <laughs> what is Close. hockey? 